Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In the previous lesson, we got to see a couple of the newer features in Word, Focus and Immersive Reader. But there is one other newer feature that's really useful to know about, and that is called Dark Mode. So what exactly is Dark Mode? Well, Dark Mode is there to help you view your document if you struggle to see black text on a white background. A lot of people find the contrast of a black background with white text a lot easier to read. And many people report that they feel like they have less eye strain and less fatigue when reading long documents. Now, it's worth noting that when it comes to working in Word, we can change the overall theme of Word to a darker theme. But changing the theme to dark is different to changing to dark mode. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I wanted to change the overall theme of Word to a dark theme, I would simply go up to the File tab, go into Account, and notice here underneath Office Theme, I currently have this set to Colorful. But I could click the drop down and choose Black or Dark Gray. Now, if I choose Dark Gray, you're going to notice immediately what that does. It changes the entire application to a dark gray color, which again, some people prefer, but it doesn't actually change the document. The document is still black text on a white background. So dark mode has been introduced to combat that. With dark mode, we can change the background of our document to black and have white text, but it doesn't affect the overall theme that we've applied to the application. So to demonstrate this, I'm just very quickly going to switch back to the colorful setting. And let's take a look at how dark mode works. Now, the first thing you need to know about dark mode is that you might not be able to see it by default on any of your ribbons. Dark mode is available in Word, but it's not a command on a ribbon by default. So if this is something that you want to use and toggle between, you're going to need to add it to the ribbon. And this is where we move into customizing ribbons in Word. Now, normally I would say that this is a bit early on in our journey through learning Word to start talking about how to create our own ribbons and ribbon groups. But it is really straightforward. I think you can handle it and it's a good opportunity to practice how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the switch modes command, which will allow us to switch to dark mode to the view ribbon in its own little custom group. So let's jump up to file and we're going to go into options. Now to do this, we need to jump across to the customize ribbon page. And this is very similar to when we modified the quick access toolbar. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring up a list of all commands that are available in Word. So now I can see every single command ordered alphabetically. And because I'm looking for a command called switch modes, I know that it's going to be somewhere towards the bottom of this list underneath S. So let's scroll through to S W. And there it is just there, switch modes. If I hover over, it says view with a dark page color. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now on the right hand side, this is going to show all of the tabs that I currently have in Word. So I want to add this to the view tab. So, so let's expand view. I can then see underneath all of the different groups. So the first group is views, which it is. The second group is immersive, so on and so forth. Now I can't just select one of these groups and then add the new command to an existing group. If I try and do that, it's going to tell me that commands need to be added to custom groups. So effectively, I need to create my own little group here. So underneath, I'm going to say I want a new group and I'm going to rename this group. So let's select it, click on rename, and I'm going to give it a display name of switch modes. You could call it dark mode or whatever you like. 
I can then choose an icon that I want to represent this group. Now, I'm not going to bother with that at this stage. Let's click on OK. So now I have my custom group, I can add the switch modes command to this group simply by clicking on add. There it is. Let's click on OK. And now take a look at my view ribbon. I have a new little group here with the switch modes command. And if I hover over, we can see that it says, see how this document will look in dark mode. So if I click this button, it's going to do exactly that. You can see the page of the document has turned to black and we have white text. But the actual application itself hasn't changed theme at all. And this button is simply a toggle. So if I want to toggle back to how it was originally, I can just click it again. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.